So we filled in all the wall where the prints was just here and then we're literally just marking up the frog type now to sort of do the half and half along here and along this wall as well. So can everyone see Hugo under there? We've just took the mattress off and he jumped on the bed thinking the mattress was still on and absolutely crapped himself <laughs> and then he went through the slats but look at him underneath there now. Hey. Hugo, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. So we've just frog typed everything up now. We've done the ceiling bit so we don't get any like accidents on the ceiling. We've also done the tight room. We sort of measured it out and then did like a spirit level. And then with the frog type as well, it's just so easy. You can literally just like hold the tape really taut and then just stick it along. So as you can see, it's all along here. So we're gonna have the bottom colour here, and it's gonna be the same colour as this, and then all up there, and then again it goes down here, and then it's gonna go along here as well. And then, yeah, ignore the ensuite. Look at all the stuff that's been shoved in there. Um, but yeah, it'll look really, really nice when it's done and add a bit more colour into it. But yeah, really easy to use the frog tape. So this is a copper blush colour. It's really, really nice. I think it's going to look so nice on the wall. I've done like a little dab in the corner just there. I think Hugo's just hiding underneath the bed, I think. He keeps hiding underneath, so this is going to be fun trying to paint with him. But yeah, really love the colour. So this bit here has had like two coats now and so this bit so just needs to go over the barrier. It looks quite like orangey and quite red on camera but it's like a really nice like as it's called warm copper blush. So yeah I'm just going to do another coat over these bits here. So I'm just going to start peeling the frog tape off. Now the best tip, I always say this on my decorating videos, that pull it off when it's wet like don't let it dry because it literally just like it'll peel the paint away and I always sort of peel up from this corner and then peel like away so it folds up. I mean, look how satisfying that is. So as you can see, I've just peeled this bit off and it's given us a lovely clean line. So obviously the mirror will go back on here as well. Um, I'm really, really happy with how the colours um, come out. But obviously we've got tape on the edge there, which we'll just peel off now. And there's also masking tape as well along the skirting boards. I'll just pull the ones off the light switch. Um, but yeah, really, really love the colour. And I think as well, it's nice having like this contrast. And I feel like it looks a bit different because we've panelled so much in the house. And this would look lovely like with Dodo out on the top, but we've got the mirror to go back there. And I feel like we don't want to go too like OTT with the panelling. So I'm just going to pull off the tape just along the top here. And then I'll peel this bit off as well. And then literally we're just going around like painting like just the edge bits and we've just got this wall here to finish off and paint so i'm going to like get all the tape off over that and then we can like push the bed back a little bit so we can just get to this wall here but yeah really happy with the color So this bit is all done now, I'm just starting to tidy up and literally get ready to push the bed back and then put everything back together. But yeah, really happy with it as well. This paint as well dries so, so quick, but we're going to literally put the bed back, but not right against the wall. I've just been cleaning my day and behind here, but yeah. I really love the colour, it's so nice and it's made such a difference as well, it makes it look really, really warm. I mean, it looks quite orange on camera. Um, but yeah, the copper blush colour is definitely like, it's like a warm orange with like a hint of pink. Um, it's just really, really nice. Yeah, I'm going to start putting everything back together. So I've just moved everything back. As you can see, the colour looks so, so nice with the copper and whatnot. Um, also, this wall's not staying like this. We've got lots of nice prints from Desenia to build a nice big gallery wall to go on here. We're going to do that tomorrow. And there's no point doing it now. I want to make sure that it's all fully dry. Um, it does look so dark on the camera, but it's really nice. It's made it feel really, really warm. Um, as you can see as well, we've got a poke up bed in. I feel like that stands out a lot more. I'm going to see if I can get some nice like new cushions for the bed. Um, really happy with this 
this bit as well it looks so so lovely like I love how the lines up like, through the mirror then we've also put this mirror back on the wall as well and um, we had some prints in there before but we're going to do something else with that bit but yeah really happy with how it's looking I was also a little bit worried if the curtains were going to match or whatnot um, but I feel like with the prints as well the prints have got like the warm colour like the, the pinky ready colour in them um, so I feel like it'll just tie it all nice together really nicely and I think I might change this light as well I'm thinking of getting like a nice like rattan um, big like dangling light for over the bed so I'll have a little look online tonight and then, you know when you like decorate a new room and you like want to buy loads of new stuff for it um, so I'm going to have a little look tonight and see what I can do but yeah productive little Saturday so guys the prints have all been put up now and how lovely do they look so now it's like 10 o'clock in the morning it's like quarter to 10 and as you can see as well the light is really nice and natural in here when we finished off decorating I was worried that it's going to look a bit too dark but it literally just feels like so warm and um, really really cozy we're also going to move some bits around as well so these are the prints on the wall which are from Desenio I've also ordered a nice new bedding set as well I'm going to keep the polka dots one as well because this one actually matches really well but I thought I wanted to have another set and um, we you know when you decorate a new room you're just like oh I want some new bedding and um, to finish it off and some nice cushions and then what we're going to do as well like we're going to change this bit so I'm going to keep the pampas grass and that bit there but we're going to move the copper clock because I feel like it just blends in a little bit too much to the wall you don't really see it as much so what we're going to do is get a nice little oak shelf for the wall there I've also got some other Desenio prints with some nice copper frames and we're going to pop the copper clock on there as well because when we're in bed anyway like we always sort of look up at this wall um, I think it will like finish off this wall really nicely and then I'll see I've got like our little basket we put the cushions and obviously Hugo's toys and my phones just on charge down there but yeah really really happy with these gorgeous prints we've also made the wall as you can see a bit bigger um, this is a new print here and then this is a new one and we've just like rearranged it but I feel like it just feels like the wall so so nice and I'm really glad that we didn't panel like I said before I was thinking oh shall we panel and do some like dodo rail for along here but then we couldn't put the mirror back on the wall but yeah we didn't want to go too OTT with the panelling but yeah love these gorgeous prints and they just match this room perfectly so the new bedding has arrived so I thought I'd quickly show you in the packaging before I then wash it and put it on the bed tomorrow sorry if it looks a bit dark and gloomy but it's currently like I think it's nearly five o'clock now and and the nights are literally just drawing in so quickly now it's been raining all day and i'm just not ready for the house being really dark and really really miserable but it sort of makes me want to be at home and be all cozy and with this room all being all newly decorated now it feels nice and warm and cozy so i thought i'd show you the new bedding i got from laradette so the bedding that we've got on now is the polka dot one which is also from laradette i love their bedding it literally we only got the one set of this um, but I've ordered some new pillows so I've got another set of sets of pillowcases here because we literally like, wash the bed in so much and whatnot um, and obviously like with my like if I put like face creams and what on it does sort of get onto my pillows and marks my pillows um, so yeah I thought I'd order an extra pair of these pillowcases for that as well with La Rodette, you don't buy like a pair of pillowcases so when I first ordered from there to my bed in I ordered literally one bed in and it was just the duvet set like the duvet sheet and i had to order my pillowcases separately because when i first ordered it the first time i ordered my duvet set bedding thinking that it was a set with pillowcases and i was like where are the pillowcases there's no pillowcases and i went on the website and it was like just one so i ordered like okay i ordered one and then it was like i looked again and it was just like oh my god single and i was like oh my god so i ended up paying postage for like literally two separate pillowcases the first time so like this time i knew when i was ordering that i had to make sure it all, all comes as like separate so you can mix and match them which is quite nice but also still quite annoying as well and they had they had 40% off as well for an autumn code, which was amazing. So I love their quality of bedding. So I definitely couldn't recommend Lower Debt enough. So what I got was, so I'll show you the new bedding. So this is going to be the new bedding. So we're going to still use this one and just mix and match and then have this one in between. But as you can see, it's a nice like beige and um, white polka dot. And it has like this like black piping trimming as well, which you can just see. But obviously I thought I'd show you this in the packaging and then I'm going to wash it all, um, get it dry tonight and then put it on the bed tomorrow. And also here are the matching pillowcases as well. Um, again, I love these. I also got some other little pillowcases to go underneath as well. Um, they're a nice like beige colour. They do lots of really good colours. They're really, really good basics. Um, I think, why have I got three? This always happens now. I don't know why I've got three. I did order a flat sheet, but I know the flat sheet was out of stock. So I've got beige pillowcase. I ordered like two sizes because I wanted to have the other shape as well. Um, I'm trying to see what's different on here. Um, I'm going to have to just open it up and just see. I think I ordered like the square ones, but I don't know why there's only one that's come. But I'll figure that out. Um, so there's my spare ones. And then I've also got some other bits. So I've got these pillowcases. 
so I've got them as a matching set. I'll show you this throne now as well. It has like, it's, this is their e-crew E crew throw comes in lots of different colours again but as you can see if I hold it up to the camera it has like this really nice like quilted um stitched effect and I loved the edge if I can find the edge in let me just fold it out for you it has like can you see I see it has a scalloped edge so you can just see here sorry if it's a bit bright I'm right in the window and um, so it has like the scalloped edge I thought right okay that'd be really nice on the end of the bed um oh it's so so nice I've got this in quite a big size as well. I think I got this in the, I can't think what size it was now. It was the one down from the biggest one. Um, again, it had 40% off, so I thought, right, okay, I might as well get the bigger one because I wanted it to hang like, over the edge of the bed and then cover the grey frame so you could see the nice like scalloped edge. So like, I'm really excited to like make the bed tomorrow and yeah, show you guys that. And then I've got some pillowcases as well. So what I did was I ordered two sizes and how good are these packaging that this comes in with the zips? really like that so here are one of the cushions so this is a nice big one i also got some new duck feather like cushion inners from donnell so i've got the two small ones and i've got like literally the big size as well in the cupboard that i need to get out so i thought i can put these big ones on as you can see as well it has the matching like scalloped edge and on the back as well you literally just slide it in um as well i might actually throw these in the wash as well just so they're all nice and fresh and it's all nice and clean um i always do that with new bedding as well because i feel like when you put it on and it's like not being washed it's got quite like what you want it to be like soft you want some fabric softener on it so yeah i'll wash these as well and let me see them find the small ones must be in this one yeah they've got different packaging for different it's just gonna be no this is another big one so another big one again here there was a, this was like the 50 by, it was like 40 by 40 and 60 by 60, I think it was. Um, but again, I'll link everything in the description for you for this bedding set because it is so nice. I'm literally so excited to put it on. Oh yeah, so here's a little mini one. This is the little 40 by 40 one, but I just, oh, it's so adorable. It reminds me of like, sort of like, what should I say, like seashells. Is it seashells? Yeah. So I'm going to put this inner in and see what it looks like. Because the inner as well was the smaller size, so it's literally just the sizing was a bit weird. But I feel like because of the scalloped edge as well, um, oh that's coming in really really nice. So yeah, look at that. It's so nice. But even again, look at that with the prints. Like I am literally so so excited to put this on my bed. Like literally so excited. So yeah, that's one of them. And then I'm gonna put the other one in because might as well while I'm showing you. But these are really good, these little zip-up packets. I might actually keep these for storing some bits in. Um, they're really good, aren't they? I really love like reusable packaging. I like to sort of reuse things. Um, I know I had some packaging from, or some dust bags that come from something that I ordered. It had like a zip-up and whatnot. Um, and it had like a little zip bit on it as well. So I've been using that like to store like some other shoes in. Like from the summertime, I've put all my summer shoes away. So I thought, right, okay, I might as well use these little like dust bags to keep them in and keep them safe. So I'm all for reusing um, packaging and being like conscious of what I'm throwing away. Um, let me put this one in here as well. But yeah, these ones, duck feather ones from Dunelm, were only £4.50. So this was the small size that I got. I'll also show you the big size as well. I think the big one was, I think the big size was 9 50 I think. But don't quote me on it, I'll link it all in the description for you. So there's the other one. I mean, how cute. I am actually obsessed. I just really hope Hugo doesn't eat the bloody corners because he's got a thing at the moment for the corners of pillows. Like, it's his new thing. Like, even on the sofa, he's chewed one of my May Cushion zips so now the zip doesn't zip up, up or close, basically. So, you know what he's like. He's an absolute terror. I don't want him to get these pillows dirty either. I'm sort of buying stuff that isn't very Hugo friendly, am I really? But I want the bedding to look nice. So, yeah, let me show you the big inners as well. So these are the big ones and these are nine pounds. So these are the 62 by 62. I really wanted to have some nice duck feather pillows on the bed to make them feel like, to make the bed feel like really cozy and like a sort of hotel bed sort of vibe. And obviously Dunelm like quality of stuff is amazing. I think I've mentioned Dunelm in most of my like home videos, like a lot of our furniture. Like I think Dane says, mostly Dunelm. Um, I love their soft furnishings. I just love them as a homeware brand and they're really good prices as well. So let me show you the big cover in this. So I've just whacked that in and then you can literally just tie it here as well, which is really good. So I can tie it. I'm sure Hugo will try and dig his way on the pillow. I just have to keep him away from this nice new bedding. But 
yeah so that fits perfectly inside here so it's nice and snug there you go and i just love that it matches like i mean how cute is that i like to stack together then with the throw oh i'm so excited i mean i just love new bedding who doesn't love like new bedding so yeah really excited to get this on the bed as well this is the scenario collection by loredette and um, if you guys wanted to have a look um I, like i said i already will link them in the description for you as well but I just think that Laredet as well, like they always have good offers on. Their quality is really good. Everything washes so well. Um, I love buying their bedding. It's literally really good. And where else do I get my bedding from? I think before I've had bedding from May.com. And their bedding is really good as well. Washes really well. I had, when me and Washi used to live in a flat, I had, I bought like a jersey set. So it was like a grey like t-shirt jersey um, bedding set. But honestly, it was our favourite bedding because it was so, so soft. And it was really, really cosy. Um, and if, I don't know if you guys have seen, like I think Donnell is doing it at the moment. They do like, they normally have like their teddy throws and teddy cushions. But they've actually brought out like a teddy like bedding set. And me and Washi saw it and we were like, oh my God, that's like so cosy. But I find like with a teddy sort of like fluffy material, and the throws and stuff they like go quite like matty because like half of our like teddy throws have now gone to hugo they're now hugo's throws so i just didn't want the bed going all matted and funny but they looked so so cozy but i feel like as well when you wear like sometimes when i'm downstairs with a teddy throw wrapped around me it makes you really warm and i can't imagine that then as a bedding set like it would be really hot and sweaty um but anyway look at this one as well i mean it's so so cozy i just loved up feather pillows Oh my god, I'm just going to see all these pillows and be like, hey, Eli. Because even downstairs on our sofa, we've got loads of cushions and he hates them. So he's definitely going to hate all these pillows. But, I mean, you've got to have nice pillows on your new bed, right? So, yeah, that's a little sneak peek at the new bedding. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to put it all in the wash now, get it all washed and dry tonight. And I'll put it on the bed and show you guys tomorrow.
as you can see, I'm the most indecisive bed maker ever. I was like, do I need those back two cushions? But then I really liked like all the layered cushions. I mean, Russ is gonna see this and be like, how many cushions do you wanna put on the bed? But it literally just looks so cozy, I just wanna dive in. And I really love this throw as well, so I didn't really get to see it very well um, when I was sodding the bed, but it has this really nice like scalloped edge. Um, can you just see there? It's so, so nice. And then my other cushions um, from the other embedded set I'm just going to keep in there. So that shelf there is just going to go on the wall just here. So I'm going to put some prints on there as well with some copper frames. Um, but yeah, really, really happy with the finished result. I hope you like it, guys. Sorry if it looks quite dark. It's like, as you can see at the window, it's such a gloomy, dark day today. And I was like, oh, I hope it's going to be bright enough for me to like sell the bed for you guys. But yeah, I really love it. I'm so happy with this bedding set from Laredet. And then this little cushion here is from Dunelm. So I'll link like all these cushions and whatnot in the description for you. I've also got a Disenio code as well. So I'll pop it on the screen below for you. Um, but it's only valid for literally a couple of days. So obviously I'll put all the details in the description for you. But be quick, it's a really good offer on the prints. And I love styling my home with these gorgeous prints. So yeah, really, really happy with it. Yeah, you can see the prints just behind there. They're going to go up. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with the finished result. And say hello to our beautiful, newly decorated bedroom.